Hey guys, it's me, Ryan from Illuminati. We have here Steve J. Palmer at Passing the Comic Con, the voice of Bill Williamson in the Red Dead Redemption series. What's up, uh, Steve? Uh, hi, uh, it's going good. I'm having a really good time. This is my actual first uh, convention in person in a convention hall in two years yeah. since Stockton Con in January of 2020. So I, I thought it'd be a little rusty, but it's like, uh, putting on an old pair of slippers, and the fans have been great. We've had a lot of fun, and uh, I'm really uh, I'm I'm enjoying the day. It's, it's been really fun. Awesome, of course. Red Dead Redemption, amazing video game franchise. I grew up with it, so thank you so much for providing Bill, the voice of Bill. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, just to point out, it just uh, uh, we I mean we couldn't do it without all the fans out there. Um, the great thing about uh, working on both games, Red Dead from 2010 and then Red Dead 2 of uh, 2018, was uh, it was more than people just say, well, it, uh, consider it voice, voiceover, voice acting. Uh, what people may not understand is everything we did, all the actors involved on both games, including uh, Undead Nightmare uh, and all the stuff you see on Red Dead Online, that is full performance capture. So uh, that was us in a studio wearing the black Velcro suits with the ping pong balls, basically a very uh, akin to what Andy Serkis did in Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and King Kong and whatnot. Uh, and that's, uh, that's the cast acting and reacting and interacting. Uh, and it's one of the reasons the entire Red Dead Redemption cast has gotten so close over the years, because we were in the studio working together in secret for five years. Uh, so it's almost like the, the equivalent, equivalent of time of, of like working on a, a five season series. Excellent. My first question is, so Red Dead Redemption was a sequel to Rockstar's Dead Revolver. Do you have any knowledge of the game prior working on Red Dead Redemption? I, when, when the first, uh, we started working on uh, the original Red Dead Redemption, which, and that started my work in January of 2009. I had heard of inklings of Red Dead Revolver. I didn't know too much about it because Red Dead Redemption, in essence, became its own thing. Uh, and certainly if you play Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead 2, uh, the events of Revolver are canon because uh, Red Harlow is mentioned throughout the games. You kind of have to look for it, but it is there. Um, but yeah, I didn't know, uh, I, I had known of Rockstar. I was obviously, I was a fan and familiar of the Grand Theft Auto series and everything looked amazing when it came to Grand Theft Auto. So I said, if these guys from Grand Theft Auto are making a Western, oh geez, this is gonna look good, but I had no idea. I thought, I was like, this could be pretty good. I had no idea what was to come. Every, everything since then has been a, a, a blessing and a, a surprise to me. Speaking of Red Dead, the game was not only a successful but commercial success, and of course won numerous rewards. Now, with the sequel coming out, did you expect that this game would become a big legacy in the front, big legacy to gaming? I, I didn't know what to expect when the first game came out, but it, it was a pleasant surprise that it became this, this, uh, pop culture sleeper hit mm -hmm. that it did. Um, when we were working on Red Dead 2, uh, a lot of the returning cast, myself, uh, Rob Weedoff, uh, Benjamin Byron Davis, who played Dutch, because we had gone through that cycle before, we were thinking, this could be pretty cool. That, but we didn't, we really didn't know. We, we, we would say, this could be awesome. This could be, oh God, this could be great. We, we didn't know. We didn't know until we saw what it looked like when the horse would step through the snow and little bits of ice, would, like it looked so photorealistic. And we were like, we, we knew this would be good, but we had no idea. And at that point, you can imagine, but you just don't know until you're done and the game comes out and then the world reacts to it or the fandom, they're either gonna love a product, they're gonna dislike the product, you don't know, but when the good stuff starts happening and it's like, oh, thank goodness we made something everyone really likes. <laughs> um, we're, to this day, we're still baffled by it, but we're happily baffled. I mean, we're just, we're just in awe of everything that's happened. So what it became winning all the awards, I think for those of us returning, we, we kind of was like, well, this could be good. This could get game of the year. This could, you know, but we just, 
we didn't know the depths of the 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 emotional impact it would have. We had we it 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 just it went beyond our wildest dreams. It was and it was the honor making. So my final question is, what was your reaction when you found out that Bill was coming back for Red Dead Redemption Two? Uh, I you know they reached out to me. The first haired inkling. It, it, this was in uh, this was April in twenty April in twenty thirteen. Uh, my manager had said, you know, Rockstar reached out and they're thinking about they'd like to work with you again. And I was like, I didn't know. I thought it was like I'd be a math professor and bully too. I had no, I was like, yeah, I, I like bullies. So I didn't, you know, I was like, <laughs> oh, great. You know, uh, Jimmy's going to take that blue rubber band ball and throw it at my head. I had no idea. I'm a big bully fan, by the way, oh, for people who know. Okay. I had no I had no idea. I wouldn't think. Um, and everything was hush hush and it's you know they'll let you know when they need you to know stuff and i didn't know what was going on until i'd say november of 2013 as far as what specifically they would like to work with me again and then by the time i found out i was ecstatic but even then i didn't you know we 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 wrapped everything up we didn't say anything and it was just like this will be ready when it's ready and uh hopefully everyone will like it and and five years later yeah yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, we like it. So it uh, it was great. I didn't know, and I was curious because it's like we, uh, the three guys going into it, Ben, myself, and Rob, it's like, all right, this is a prequel, and, and we know it's going it's, it, to, it, it's ending, it's going to right before where the original game starts off. So we're, you know, we're start in production on it back in 2014 and we're looking at each other we're like well, the three of us are going to get out of it alive so we know that um but other than that we're like but how did we get to that point how did we get to the point where john's chasing us all down and we're like well i i'd love to know and over five years as we got bits of script because they kept us in the dark wonderfully uh it was it was this very in the you know every time we get sides it was just like we were in the moment and uh, and it, and it worked. It worked out. It worked out wonderfully. So as things unfolded, I remember the like. For instance, I remember the day that we were doing the scene where uh, it's a conversation around the table where Bill's talking to Micah, and you find out what Bill's actual first name is. I remember getting the sides of that day and just getting it and flipping out. It was like, oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> and I'm showing people in the in the. In the green room, I'm pulling Ben aside. Could you see this? Look at this. And we're just like, oh wow! But all of us had those moments. We get, you know, some of the returning guys. It's like, I always wondered about that. Oh, they're finally going to explain that. I've been, you know, for since 2010, I've been wondering. So we would have great moments like that, it was, and it was fun for us as actors, and 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 uh, really fleshing out these characters. That when it comes down to it. We only had somewhat inklings of it's like you know it's like this is what as actors this is what we think but it really is up to the writers and they gave us gold all the the, the writers uh, of both games just would just it just was gold that the team of Rockstar gives and they and uh, the entire cast had wonderful moments of character building and and it was just a great process and again we loved the Red Dead games like there was a great. It's like we love them so much, especially me. I love playing these. I haven't even finished two yet, so. <laughs> you haven't finished two yet? Well, I'm nearly there. I'm trying to complete the open world, or I'm done. Oh, you're, I, you're, like, you're, I'm you're really going 100%. I'm it's going a 100%. slow burn. Listen, we've had a lot of time in the last couple of years, so it's like, don't yep. worry about it. It's like, well, uh, you get you get to go all through the nooks and crannies of the game, which is really cool. Yes. So, uh, yes. yeah. So, thank you again. Thank you so much, Steve, you're very for your welcome. time. You're welcome. Absolutely. Yes. Glad talking with you. Yes. And hopefully in the future you could be in a bully game. Hopefully we remake it, maybe. I listen. I don't know. I don't know what any plans are for Rockstar or anything. Here's the great thing of Rockstar: when they're ready to tell you something, then they'll tell you. And uh, they make you wait. <laughs> but every time you finally get that thing they make, it's everyone says the same thing: "Oh, it's so worth the wait." Yes. And you got to remember that it's gonna whatever it is, it's gonna be worth the wait. You can't say that enough. Yes. Hopefully you taste it. Yes, hopefully. We'll, we'll, we will see, won't we? Yes. We will see. All right, thank you, Steve, for taking your time. You're very welcome. Absolutely. Uh, this is Steve Palmer from Red Dead. Red Dead. And this is Ryan from Luminary at Pasadena Comic Con. Signing out. Bye, guys.